Okay, so this is my tutorial on adding the official USB boot functionality to your Raspberry Pi 4. There may be less steps needed, but this is what worked for me. My previous video shows my first successful boot. This is in testing at the moment, so you may break your Pi. Do this at your own risk. Obviously, this functionality will be added through the normal update procedure in the future, but some of us like testing things. So first, install the latest version of Raspbian on an SD card using Belena Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager. I'm using the minimal install with a desktop interface. Put your SD card into the Pi and boot it as normal, and follow the on-screen setup. You will need an internet connection. While this is booting, write the same image to a USB stick. Beware most are slower than SD cards, this is just proving that it works. A better way is with a USB caddy and an SSD drive, that way you get much better performance. Open a terminal on your Pi and type sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade and this is the riskier bit sudo rpi dash update this will install the latest firmware uh, and kernel onto your pi giving you sort of cutting edge updates follow the unscreen instructions that come up when it's finished type sudo reboot that will reboot your pi and then when it's restarted open a terminal and type in sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. In my case, another update was available. This time my EEPROM updated to 7.0.1. When that's finished, do sudo apt install rpi EEPROM, and that shows what status you're on. Should say there's no more updates available. You also want your Pi to be able to get the very latest updates, so try this uh, sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash default, forward slash rpi dash eprom dash update and you need to change the critical to beta and that's basically going to give you the latest updates as they come through. There is a way of changing this and I've put a link down below if you want to turn this off in future. Press Control O to save, press enter and then press Control X to quit out. Then if you do sudo apt install rpi dash eprom it will show that you have the latest version, hopefully, uh, and then do sudo reboot. Now from, uh, I'll put a link in the description for uh, the GitHub download for all the latest updates to, to do with the booting of the Pi. So download all 14 files individually, put them all in one folder, and then copy and paste them into your boot folder of your USB or your SSD drive, overwriting the old files. I'm not sure, but you may need to do the same thing with your SD card copy of Raspbian. Marsan had success adding just two files, start4.elf and fixup4.dat, but I put all 14 on mine. That may be it, all done. Reboot your SD card copy of Raspbian, then shut down. Now remove your SD card from the Pi and reboot with just your USB stick or SSD drive connected. If it works, you now have Raspbian running from USB without an SD card in your Pi. If it still doesn't work, put your SD card back in and boot Raspbian normally. Open a terminal and type in this code. It's in the description if you want to copy and paste it over. And then do sudo reboot. Now shut Raspbian down and remove the SD card and reboot. Hopefully now it all works. Let me know if it works for you. Also, have you had any success with any other operating systems? Hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe.